Hello and welcome to a new Minecraft map with Kaleo. Hi. This is Weaves of Fate by the Crims. It's been in development for three years. It came out, I, I don't know, let me check. In November. It's an old map already. We're in 1.14.4. I don't know. I haven't done, I mean, I've played bingo, of course, but other than that, I haven't really done much like Minecrafting, so I don't know. Might be a bit rusty. Yep. With like bows and stuff, because I haven't shot one since Horrify, I think. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I haven't. I think Christmas was the last time I played Minecraft. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you've been you've been playing lots of other stuff, like the the graveyard what's graveyard keeper? Yeah. Yeah. You played a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm done. And I'm so sad. <laughs> But I saw you wishlisted some other like farm type games and stuff. Yeah, I bought something today. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't I haven't checked yet today. I, I haven't. I don't think I've. Maybe I've been online, but no, no, I've I haven't logged into Steam today yet, so I don't know. What did you buy? Planet Two. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> I need something to play <laughs> since Graveyard Keep is over for me. <laughs> you could make a YouTube series, single player Planet Two. Just you for your channel. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But then I have to talk to myself. I'm not good at that. <laughs> I mean, you could just do like, I don't know. You could like, edit it with some music and stuff. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to talk. You could though. I mean, you could just like show, show off your builds and stuff. I don't know. Or your sue, I guess. Anyway, this is Views of Fate. We've been told to play it since it came out. <laughs> and I've refused because it's a long map apparently. The description says 30 to 50 hours. It's a lot. And then 16 objectives and 14 bonus objectives. So 30 mm -hmm. total. And difficulty 6 to 8 of 10. And it gets harder as it goes along, apparently. And there's lots of custom stuff. So keys, time travel, vampires, and much more. No idea what that means. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I mean, we've seen vampires before, so I don't know. And be... Yeah, that too. That's true. I don't I mean time travel. We haven't done any time travel in the CTMs, I think. Are you sure? We've done time travel in like Tempers of Hyrule. Yeah. And I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it means to time travel in the CTM map. Like you get to the end and then it time travels you back to the start of the area and you have to do it again. <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> That's why it's so long. It's just one area, but you have to play it over and over and over again for 50 60 hours. times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only the mobs are replaced. <laughs> yeah, you could just you could just save the entire like world in structure blocks and then like reload it. <laughs> yeah. It'd be really mean. Anyway, we should definitely turn on the death counter. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and we should also read all these signs. So first one, do not break blocks in lobby. Do not break rocks in lobby. Do not break rocks in lobby. And do not break rocks in lobby. And then we have a lot of other signs too. Welcome to Weaves of Fate. Thank you so much for playing this map. This is a 16 objective CDM map that is not to be taken lightly. It starts off fairly easy, but it gets harder as you go. See, I, I don't like you know being told that it's easy at the start because I'm going to play silly at the start now. <laughs> I'm not going to take it seriously. It's going to be very <sighs> hard for you. Yeah, if you're recording an LP, please link the download. All of the rules are in the chest below. And then there's some must reads. I guess I started on the left because that's the way we usually read things left to right. Do not cheat. So no game mode changing. Well, no killing slash killing that is or anything else that would be unfair. I don't know how slash kill is unfair, though. You just die. <laughs> well, whatever. OK, you can break blocks and craft items, but not in the lobby which I don't know, whatever. Always play on Survivor on easy to hard. I don't know what we're on. I'll take a look after. Because yeah, it might be bugged again. <laughs> yeah, we're on peaceful. <laughs> uh, playing on peaceful completely ruins the point of the map and it's no fun at all. Complete the monument to win. Do not craft the wars from war die collected. I'll only place the war given in the fleecy box. It will be clear which war you should place. Yeah, or default rules there. Yeah. Only craft bonus objectives from the Prism Marine. Given in specially marked chests. So Prismarine is bonus objective, I guess. Mm -hmm. Do not leave the boundaries of the map above the war wars of the open to sky areas. If it's super flat, you shouldn't be there. Don't craft, move, 
I guess that's ender chest, but it's not it it's not there. It's just stone craft move. We're not allowed to move. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> uh rule number eight is follow rule number nine. Rule number nine is don't follow rule number eight, which is <laughs> very funny. And then try to have fun. Sure. And then you have four books. There's so much reading here. CTM maps. Uh we can skip this book. Yeah, we can skip this book. We know what the CTM map is. Item tiers, we probably need that. In this map, there are seven different tiers of loot. Common loot that is common. That makes sense. <laughs> At intersection, this loot should be uh, a last resort, except in White Roar. Makes sense. Uncommon loot that is unique to each area. Rare, around six to eight of these per area. These items are very good. Epic, there is one epic per area. These items are really good. Okay, so we need to find one epic item in each area, too. Uh -huh. Like, no, we have to find them more. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, we have to. <laughs> yes, yes. Divine. These items have custom abilities. There can be anywhere from zero to three divine items in an area. I hate that. Okay. Why is there only one rare with up to three divine items? That's a lot. But maybe like the late areas have more and the early ones don't. I don't know. And then bonus. These are items you can acquire by completing the bon bonus monument and the mythical items. These are very the very best items in the map. There is one mythical item per intersection. Also, there are intersections too, I guess. Good. Sounds like, a, like an old school CTM then. Oh, what was this one? Bonus monument. In addition to having a required monument, this map has a bonus monument. To complete the bon bonus monument, you must explore <laughs> The areas to and find all of the special prismarine shards and chests. You craft nine of them into a prismarine brick and place it on the bonus monument. Do not use prismarine bricks found in areas. This is considered breaking the rules. Every time you place down a prismarine brick, a reward with a special item is given. Makes sense. And then settings. This map is massive. Yeah, I mean, 50 hours. It's got to be pretty big. It has many large vistas that require high view distance. Yeah, we don't have that. <laughs> Try to keep your settings low to reduce lag. Recommended sit settings. 12 to 16 chunks. We are, I think we're at 10. Uh, don't play with shaders. Unless you want your computer to explode. Yeah, no shaders. <laughs> Four gigs of RAM. Uh, and then again, like these books, I don't know why people don't... The books never work. <laughs> if you are playing multiplayer, I recommend dedicating gigabytes of RAM, but the number is missing. So it's completely useless. <laughs> Just check your books, guys. I don't know. Anyway, must read. If you are a beginner to CTM, I recommend enabling easy mode. Easy mode gives you the ability to use shields and turn off natural mobs. So we don't get shields? That's going to be interesting. I, I turn it off. Not sure so no shields? Way, no shields, apparently. Or maybe just like restricted shields? I don't know. I hate that, though. I'm very used to playing with shields. Like, extremely used to playing with shields. It's not going to be easy now. Yeah, what are you I... going to do with all the creepers? <laughs> yeah, and skeletons. And, I don't know, strays and... I don't know. Everything. I wonder, is it always going to be nighttime? Or is it just no day-night cycle here? It's probably always going to be nighttime, I'm going to guess. You're going to time travel, so it's going to change. <laughs> Maybe, but maybe you're just gonna, you know, travel from midnight today to midnight yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check with the difficulty. It's a normal, which is fine. I don't want to go too hard. No, <laughs> not without shields. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, I guess I guess we're ready. We're not supposed to steal stuff here, but there would be so much good stuff: torches and glowstone, and wood, stone. Some emeralds, maybe? Well, we won't have an iron pick to break them, but I guess. Do not leave until we have read all the books. We have read all the books. Begin map. Teleports all players. Okay. Any secrets? No. No secrets. I have the Minecraft music turned on, and I kind of I kind of like it, I have to say. It's very nice. Anyway. I mean, we have to break the rule to leave the no block, <laughs> block breaking. We have to, yeah, we already broke the rules. So, yeah. Shame bad. on you. <laughs> yes. I guess let's go. Welcome to Weaves of Fate by the Crims. 
How long are we going to be Brian for? Okay, not very long. There's a chest. Some torches. Safety torch. Sharpness four, knockback two, fire aspect. One for each of us. Very nice. Some crappy food. <laughs> Mission. Was it something about light? Stopping someone? Removing something unnecessary? I don't remember, but it must have been important if I was chosen for the job. Okay. Mm. Did you take your safety torch? Yeah. Are there two? Okay. Yeah, one for each of us. <laughs> and also, I'm already hungry, which I hate. I hope we get some food soon. To be careful with the safety torch, though, you like, shouldn't hoard it while, like, you know, looting and stuff, because you might place it accidentally. Visit me first. There's a chest. Yeah, but there's a sign. There's a chest. Visit me first. <laughs> These axes don't have attack damage, so don't use them as a weapon. That sucks. A guide to special weapons. There are three main types of weapons in this map. Swords, battle axes, and scythes. Scythes. Each weapon has its own special aspect that makes it different than the others. You may choose between weapons depending on your playstyle. Battle axes do lots of damage, but have slow attack speeds. Scythes are spamming weapons, that's for you, <laughs> but do very little <laughs> damage. Swords are crossed between the two. It may be helpful to carry multiple weapons on you at once. Certain weapons work better on different enemies. Sure. I'm hungry again. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be sprinting. <laughs> And jumping, but I can't not do that. You can. I believe yeah. in you. <laughs> what are we doing over here? Oh, there's a spawn here. Well, yeah, we need to we need to grab tours tours first, I guess. I thought it would just be some loot or something. I'll chop some trees here. We can kill kill these guys with a torch if you feel like it. Oh, good job. Not that I guess bad. Not, they're not they're not four health zombies, I guess. Or maybe the, the fire aspect thing, the burn damage might be enough to kill them quickly, I don't know. I guess we'll make a pick. And I'll make a, a real axe that does some damage too. Do I want a shovel? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do want one. It's probably not very useful, but whatever. Then I guess I'll use this just to chop stuff. What else do I need? No stone for us. Ah, uh, no, it's all our andesite and stone bricks, right? And glowstone, I guess. We could grab a lot of glowstone here, but I don't There's know. There's something which to. looks like stone. Oh, yeah, that does look like stone. Maybe it is real stone. Yeah, it is. Wow. Oh, cool. It's just real stone. That's nice. I didn't expect that. No. That's kind. All throw away all the Stupid wooden stuff I made. <laughs> That's nice. It's very dark in here, but I don't know. I'm just used to bring night vision, I guess. Uh, more sticks and. Do you grab anything yet? No. No. You have all the stone. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I'll make you. You can stuff. have wood. <laughs> Want a sword too? Sure. <laughs> I mean, we can afford it. I'll grab some more stone, like a furnace or something. Oh, I was in block late there. So I was not, <laughs> so I was not holding up very well. Of course, the game's a little quiet somehow. Mm. Maybe I turned it down in the settings. I did. That feels better, I guess. 16. I don't know. There you go. Some more stuff. Oh, shovel. And a furnace. Um, yeah, we each have a furnace now and... We have one basic. stone left. Uh, no. What do you need? I want to have the achievement too. <laughs> oh. Good job. <laughs> I'm hungry again. Okay, 
Let's kill these zombies. Well, they're already killed, I guess. Let's break the spawner, maybe? Uh, yeah, we're not going to farm zombies here. <laughs> we're not going to farm anything. <laughs> no, I mean, maybe food at some point. Like, growing potatoes, I mean. Yeah. Sand, I don't trust it. <laughs> this is a shard that is used for the bonus monument. Don't lose them. Which means I should maybe hold them. <laughs> Complain. <laughs> I'll also take the chest actually. Maybe you should take the sugar too. Hmm. It might be rare, but it's right at the start. It won't be rare, right? Who knows? Some sand for bottles. I don't know. It's hard to say early on in the map. Like, Maybe we can come back. We can come back, but I don't want to have to. There's nothing up here, I think. I was kind of expecting a secret here, but no. Maybe behind the water bar. Doesn't look like it, but I can't see that block there. Whatever, take some four damage and leave. Anything in the little pond? No. I don't know. Probably a waste of time here, but I don't know. You have to find all the epic stuff, so you have to search. <laughs> yeah, and also it's like a new map maker for us. Yeah. So we have to kind of feel it out, like traps and secrets and that Ooh, kind of stuff. Oh, traps. <laughs> yes. Don't know if there are any. But there might be. I wouldn't be surprised if there are a few. I wonder if you should take some kills on There's so much of it. Or I should use this axe for the chopping. I mean, let's leave, let's leave the stuff here. There's so much uh, close to me. We can always come back. We found some friends. Mm -hmm. uh, torches and blocks are essential items in CTMs. It's true. <laughs> There's 16 torches and 16 blocks for you in there. Sweet. We could get some string here, actually, for bows. And we don't have arrows yet, but... Probably a good idea to grab some string. We could also potentially fish if we need food early. Like, I don't want to fish, <laughs> but we could. I think there's anything on the roof. <sighs> cobwebs. <laughs> Other than cobwebs, I mean. Are you stuck? No, there's nothing on the roof. All right. I wonder how big this first area is. It already feels kind of big. Oh, spiders? Nice. Not a Just test. Checking for spawners first, but I don't see anything here. You should check the waterfall. All right, sure. Swimming is not that slow anymore. So I'm okay. Nothing. You don't want that sword, or? I, well, is it sword? Then no. <laughs> I can't, okay, now I could look in the chest. There's some, there's some leg. I'm not happy about it. There's also more sugar, so yeah, I really don't think it's very rare. There's also more cobble. Oh, there's some open sky over there. <laughs> Area's gonna open up a bit, I guess. Oh, spawn up in the thing. Yeah, spiders. Can we reach up from here? No. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can reach it from there. Good job. It takes forever. <laughs> Ripper? No. What's in the house? A cake? Two cakes? Yummy. <laughs> it looks it looks like a trap. <laughs> Beta tester tribute. <laughs> uh, special thanks to my beta testers. You guys are great help. Fourteener, Paradox, uh, Ruffledex, Ty, which might be Ty Race Games, I don't know. Parsivar, uh, Caladoon, and the Pelojo 88. Whatever. Stone Sword, you can have it, and 16 bread. 
I hate that I can't you walk can through you. You can have to fish. Sure. All right. What do we see? A spawn to the left. More cobwebs. Some fire. Oh, these guys have a weapon. Uh, web, what? <laughs> webbed peasant. Farmers. Yes. We're not gonna farm them. That's not. So if you if you're new to our you know playstyle and you don't like the idea that we break all the spawners, then you have to leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> never come back because we'll break all the spawners. We'll never farm anything. Oh. These are very easy mobs. They're slow. They don't have a lot of health. Mm, some beet. Beet roots, yeah, don't. Bad food. I mean, it's good food, but it doesn't stack, so it's bad food. <laughs> yeah, I guess we yeah, had to check that out. It's not a house. What's that? Another spawner? Maybe? Yeah. Spawners will sometimes be covered by certain blocks. In. Areas such as this one, be on the lookout for half slabs. Half slabs are not a thing. It's just a slab. A half slab would be half of that. Half of a slab. <laughs> yes. Rip 14er. Beat the map in under 11 hours. That's fast, I guess. Should we loot the grave? Yeah. I'll dig up 14er's remains. Lots of bones, a golden apple, and a swiftness. Yeah, a swiftness potion. Nice. Pretty nice. So much chunk already. I must put away the bonus item. I should probably keep that. What's in the house? Oh, books. Wow. That's a lot of some good stuff early. Uh, Charm of Protection. Don't know what that is. It's a divine item, I guess, but the, the text is weirdly. I don't know. Grants resistance one when held in offhand. And I guess since we don't get shields, this is good. There's one for you too. Charm of but it has curse of vanishing, so if you die, it's gone. So don't die. <laughs> many items in this map with custom abilities. These items are called divine items, and they will get more and more powerful throughout the map. Having too many divine items on you at once may cause lag, depending on how good your computer server is. That's a problem. We'll keep in mind, I guess, if we get start getting issues, we'll just dump some items. Oh, arrows. That's nice. And some more torches. Uh, efficiency one. Efficiency one. Eh, it's fine. Can break down the cobwebs for more string. But there are some cobwebs outside, so I don't know. Probably not all that necessary. I got something valuable. You should take it. What do you get? Oh, an ironing. Nice. You're leaving the bread? You don't want half? That's half? Yes, I have 24. Oh, I have 16 already on me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Where do you get the boots? Oh, that's a chest. <laughs> Some chickens here. We're not gonna build a chicken farm, even though there's an egg already. <laughs> I refuse. Even though it would probably be, be a good idea to have like feathers and, and the chicken the meat, but I don't know. Uh, is this ship is that a sail? Can't tell from here. Nah, it doesn't really look like a ship. It does look like a sail though. Maybe it's just a flag over there. There's another house. Uh, yeah. And it looks like it goes down. Yep. The area does. All right. So far, so good. It is really starting easy. I'm already not really paying attention. <laughs> you need that uh, because we are rusty. I guess so. I'd like a bucket. As a spawner here. What are these? Oh no, those are different. Web miners. Okay, he's not a farmer. He's a miner. But basically the same mob. 
I guess this is the mine. So let's check up right here, a village, I think. Or a village. Or also... No, it was a villager. I was not spawning here. Lumberjack. Okay. I get it. And I guess they are slow because they're web. Spider web or whatever. How are you spawn right there? That's rude. Is the spawner? Yeah, it is actually gone, which is really laggy. Uh, Merrick, he's buying rotten flesh and he's is giving us apples, bread, torches, or arrows, which is pretty I good. I have rotten flesh. Yeah, me too. But we, yeah, we should have we should have farmed some zombies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I only have seven. <laughs> I think I have nine. At first, there was one, maybe two, easily squashable, no threat at all. But over the past year, we began noticing some strange things happening. The eight-legged beasts got larger and started hunting in packs. Okay. Yep, I have exactly 16. What, sh what shall I buy? Some arrows? Or torches? Torches and arrows? Torches? <laughs> Nine bonus shards. All right, what a deal. I have a camping gown, okay. Where did you go? But you could. <laughs> Where are you? I wouldn't recommend Outside. jumping down there. I really want to jump down there now. But I think it's the only way going down. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a different way down. Let's check this. We haven't been over here and over there. And the mine. Yeah, yeah, but we also haven't been past the house over here, I think. Maybe there's a way down. No, there isn't. Hmm. Well, I could jump in the, the fountain. <laughs> I kind of really want to jump down. Yeah, we have to. But first, we should check out the mine. But maybe the mine goes down, and then we don't get the chance to jump down. Okay. Now we can do the mine first. It's all right. Oh, bad angle here. Come on, let me up. It's weird that the resistance buff doesn't show up in the top right. But it's in the RPG inventory. I don't know. Okay. It's probably because it's flashing on and off. I'm going to idea. die anyway, so <laughs> I'm not getting used to it. Oh, gravel. Gravel floor. We like that. <laughs> yeah. It already feels pretty trappy. There are two spawners in there. One zombie, one spider. Got them both. And yeah, we should keep rotten flesh for now. Uh, we shouldn't throw it out. I don't want to farm any like, specifically, but we shouldn't throw it away. This looks so trappy. <laughs> There has to be a trap here, right? Somewhere. Oh, he's pretty slow. I like that. Yeah, yeah he's super slow. I mean, he's Ripper. slow, but he's also stuck. Where? Oh, back here. <laughs> I his hitbox is bad. Careful. Careful. Oh, yeah. No shield. <laughs> no shield. And yeah, it's kind of hard to back off away from the creeper. That's the creeper spawner. And, uh, well, yeah, zombie spawner. Whatever. What are they called? Web miners. What's in nothing. the hole? Just some light? Or nothing? Nothing. Why is it all grabber? <laughs> to make us paranoid. It's working. I don't like it. But no, no gravity traps just yet. Hmm. No mobs here, it's also weird. Skeletons, which is kind of rude, since I don't have a shield. Again, you could have kept that spawner for, you know, bones and arrows, but no. 
if that bothers you, just stop now. <laughs> All right. Oh, that looks are safe. I don't know. It just it has to be a trap. <laughs> Somewhere. It's like a vertical area with gravity. There can't not be a trap. Maybe that right there between the wood. Like that that would make sense if it falls. Hmm? Like right here. No. <laughs> well, at least not all of it. Maybe the furnace is a TNT trap. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I see I see another bonus objective thing. The Prismarine shark chest over there. The blue top one down there. I see a spawner down to the right. I see a ladder down. I'm still afraid of the grabber. <laughs> Usually this would be a creeper spawner, but I'm nice. See, I don't believe that. It's only teaching us. Now we know what to expect. <laughs> and that's all grabber down there. There has to be some there has to be some gravity trap stuff, right? Anything hidden below the what was it, boar? Yeah. No. Lame. What I'm going to throw out, I don't know, a slab. What's yeah, in the chest? Not a half slab. Let me check. Oh, looks mostly safe. Yeah, they're safe. Or oh, something in the furnace. Always check furnaces for special goodies. <laughs> I mean, we do that anyway. Ooh, some pants. That wasn't mine. I claimed them. Uh, oh, helmet too. Dappers, I mean, whatever. Your food, I guess. The flint could be useful too. But I don't, I don't want it. I really don't want it. You should have jumped down. But we, and we would have missed all just... the fun in here. There's a trap. Oh, there's a creeper spawner. <laughs> The whole floor is gravel. It must be trap. <laughs> yeah, and then creepers too. You know, they blow up and the floor is gone. Oh, we should have made... Uh, yeah, we should make... Bows. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah. I forgot. Uh... you have enough for two bows? Because I only have one string. <laughs> okay, no? that, that... I need to remember. <laughs> Correct. I'm so good. Yeah. The string <laughs> is straight. The wood is curved, just like a real bow. Like if you imagine holding a bow, it's not like a straight stick with like a weirdly <laughs> curved string on it. That wouldn't really work. <laughs> the string only really gets you know curved when you pour it back, right? But when you like, it has to be you know taut when you like yeah attach it. I don't know. It just makes sense. I don't know why people get confused by that <laughs> recipe so much. <laughs> anyway, uh, do we shoot these guys? Think they're for health? I guess they are. It's a lot of health. How many so arrows do you have? Okay. I don't know, not a lot. I had yeah. nine, and now I have four, I think. Is there one more? Yeah, there is one more. Obsidian. Yep, yep, yep. It's a trap. Oh no! Oh wow! I'm, I knew it. I guess I was. I was up here on the wood while I placed the torch because I'm smart. <laughs> and there are more spawners down there too. Probably more creeper spawners. I'm gonna guess. Sure. It had to be a trap. Anyway, there's some coal here, which is nice. Oh yeah. As a way down and the way across. I'm basically out of arrows. Why are these guys so low health? They're one shots now. So they're lower health than normal zombies, but they also have armor on, which makes no sense. Oh, it's basically time to end the episode. <laughs> Already? We're going very slow. We're going to take 150 hours, <laughs> not 50. I'm rusty. <laughs> I don't even know to how to craft a bow. <laughs> it's fine. 
I still don't trust the thrower. You cannot trust it. Even though it's probably fine now that we triggered that one trap, they won't be too close to each other, but I don't know. You don't know, you don't know the map maker. Well, that's true. I think, I don't know. I probably played some, I don't know. I have to look up what Crim's worked on before. Because I, I do kind of recognize the name, but it might just be because people have been telling me to play this map for yeah, four months. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so long. <laughs> Uh, bread. Very good. I'm gonna go over to that place. You're not going to wait for me. You're so slow. <laughs> I'm doing all the work. <laughs> I don't know. I broke a spawner. I got some coal. <laughs> Killed like four zombies. I'm keeping all the coal. <laughs> Fair. Oh, skeletons. Don't like that much. Spawner, oh, no. gravel. <laughs> Fine. Don't trust it. Uh, Arrows. Bones. Oh. Okay, that's where the spider spawn is. Nice. Right below the spider. Makes sense. Uh, I hate you. You're just a chump. Okay. Oh, What's rocks. with the weird diorite pile? Why is it there? What does it mean? I don't know. It makes no sense. It doesn't fit. Everything else is gray and this is white. Nothing. I don't like it. There are four blocks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, trap. And there's a second prismarine shard. I have two now. Uh, what can we stack? Uh, I guess I'll keep the gunpowder. Oh, you took the paper. <laughs> it's a very special good. Yeah, I'll take it, actually. I want to keep it now. Do you have leather? Have... Uh, no. Do you have wheat? Yeah. I have some bones. Oh. Six? Sure. Do <laughs> they save the torture stack now? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you can keep them. Or do you want them? No. Oh, mine. Okay. I'm breaking the block. I'm blowing up. No. So in a random map, I would say there's a yes. hidden chest right there. Behind that cross. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's a crimson map, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah let's check. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing? No. One more block. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So not everything that kind of looks out of place is a chest. That's yeah. kind of disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when everything has a chest. Even if there's no good loot, I just like finding the chests. Yeah. So. Are those core blocks two windows? No, obsidian. Okay. Maybe we should end the episode, though, before you move on here. Okay. So that's it for today. That's it for episode one of Weaves of Fate. I hope that I managed to come up with a good intro for this one. Because mm -hmm. it has to be a good one, because if we're going to take 150 <laughs> hours, it's going to be 300 episodes. We're going to yep. play this for two or four years. <laughs> and, you know, it has to be a good intro then, like... You know, if people are going to hear it hundreds and hundreds of times, yeah. it's got to be good. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.